Hi everybody, it's John Weiss with Keller Williams Real Estate. Hey, today I wanted to talk to you about the first time home buyer process. I get a lot of questions from folks who it's their first time out buying a home or their first time for a long time and they really have no idea about the process. So I wanted to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how we do this. So my initial question for you will be, have you talked to a lender yet, a mortgage person? That's the very first step that you need in the process. And what that mortgage person is going to do is just initially collect a little bit of information from you. They're going to ask you basically what your debt to income ratio is. They're going to give you a pre-qualification letter to tell you what they believe they can lend you to buy a home. The reason this is important, there's two things. You may be looking up to 400,000 for a home, but you qualify for 350 or you may be looking up to 400 but you qualify for 450 and we want to know that we want to know exactly what you can afford and what they're going to do is give you a pre-qualification letter that says hey we're willing to lend this person this amount of money now the reason that's important is because when we get out we find a home that you absolutely love and you want to make an offer on it we have to submit that pre-approval letter with the contract if we don't, any good real estate agent that we send it over to will call me and say, hey, do you have a pre-approval or an approval letter? So that's a big part of the first process. Once you've done that, get online. I don't care if you use my website, Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, but get online and start looking at homes and see what kind of home it is that you want and you wanna know number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, uh, square footage of the house, two car garage, three car garage, pool, no pool, big yard, no yard. Uh, so we want to know all those things and I need to know that so I can run searches for you as well. So then once we get that together, then we get out and start looking at homes. And the first time we go out, We'll look at probably three to five homes because once you start getting into six, eight, ten homes, you don't remember what home number one was once you you know get back uh, home after we've been out. So um, we'll go out, we'll look at three, four, five homes, get a feel for what it is that you like, and then we'll narrow our search down. And maybe the next time out, it might be the one. So if it is, what we do at that point, we'll come back to the office and we'll uh, fill out a contract for you. And the contract will look something similar to this. Now this is an active contract that I have. I've blocked off the names and the address and everything. But the important parts on this uh, contract for you will be obviously the sales price, what you're offering on their, um, on their listing price. Not too many people come in at 100%. So we'll evaluate the home. We'll take a look at comparable homes in that particular neighborhood. And I'll give you some advice on what I feel like the home is worth. So that's number one. Number two on the contract is the amount of money that you put down for a escrow or security deposit. Now this is just showing that you have a real interest in this house and it gives the buyer basically some security because they're going to take their home from an active status and put it into a pending sale status. And what this is, is part of your down payment. So that down payment can be 20%, 10%, 5%, whatever it is. And that escrow deposit is part of that. And then the other parts of the contract that are going to be important to you is the date that you want an answer back by. So if today is Wednesday and we submitted an offer this morning, we probably want to answer by tomorrow at five o'clock. So that's pretty typical. And uh, me as your agent, what I'll do is call the other uh, agent, the listing agent, and find out what the availability of the seller is. Can they get with them today? Or is it going to be tomorrow? So um, that's very important. And then the other part of it is the closing date. Typically, we'll go out about 45 days from the day we write the contract. And um, that is going to allow the mortgage person to collect all your information, keep collecting all your information all the way through the process. And about 30 days in, they're going to give you what we call a clear to close. And once we have that, then we can set up the closing date for your home. Then after that, I kind of take over for you. We set up inspections, termite inspection, home inspection. 
I'm going to give you a list of things to look for when you're in the home. How old's the roof? How old's the AC? How much are the HOA fees in the community? Just a whole list of things. Because a lot of times people will walk through the home. They never even go in the backyard to see, is it a fenced in backyard? Is it a small backyard, big backyard? Can we put a PlayStation uh, thing out there for the kids? Uh, what, you know, what is it that's important to you? So I'll give you that list. But we'll walk you through the whole entire process. We're there with you seamlessly to make it as easy as possible because we want at the end of the transaction, we want to hear you say, wow, that was amazing. John took care of everything for us. So if you've got any questions about the first time home buyer process, give me a call. 941-962-7443. I'm available seven days a week and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much.